Welcome back to my channel. Today we're installing a Vanity Affair lace frontal wig and we're gonna crimp this wig for the style. But let's just get straight into the video. I'm just gelling back my client's edges. I'm using the B Bomb Blaze here to actually get that hold on my client's edges. I really love this product. I got it about maybe three weeks ago, right before I went to Tampa, probably two weeks. And I've been using it ever since, and I really, really love this product. And now we're going to get the hair crack. I promise you guys, the crack is in this oil. It's no cap in my wrap when I tell you that this oil promotes hair growth. This oil is super, super bomb. All of my clients' hair has been growing crazy. My niece's hair has been going crazy. My hair has been going crazy. Go ahead and get you some hair crack. Enough about hair crack though, we're going to go ahead and cut this ball cap and if you watch any of my previous videos, you'll know that nothing has changed with my ball cap method and we're just going to do the same thing. So after we cut this ball cap, we're just going to put the wig on the client's head and adjust this wig to make sure that everything is fitting her perfectly and let's just take a moment to respect, put some respect on this lace. Do you guys see this transparent lace? It looks Super, super bomb. Don't play with Vanity Affair. Don't play with it. And now we're going to proceed to go ahead and sew that lace down in the back. I just like to sew the lace down in the back to provide my clients with that extra security and that extra, you know, oomph. So anyways, with sewing the lace down in the back, all you're going to do is insert the needle into the back of the lace. Pull the needle through, not fully, but just enough to wrap the thread around. Then pull the needle all the way through to tighten the thread and proceed. I hope that was like detailed enough, but really with this process, you just really have to practice your sew method. So after we're done sewing that lace down in the back, we're just going to go ahead and part those ear tabs out so that we can cut them out so that this wig can fit your client perfect, perfect for their head. After you're done parting their ear tabs out, you're just going to go ahead and proceed to cut that area out. Off camera, I did the same thing to the other side, and then we're just gonna go ahead and proceed to start putting our layers of glue down, and what you'll see in this clip, I'm just putting the glue down. So today I am using Hold Me Down by Erica J, and I did proceed to put three layers of this glue down. After the glue dried clear, I went ahead and laid that lace down, and here you see me just blow drying and melting that lace into her scalp and I went ahead and started parting her baby's baby hairs out because I knew that she wanted baby hairs so I started you know getting that preparing that area okay so I'm just gonna start working on my first section which is this left side and I'm just gonna cut that lace with my scissors and then use my eyebrow archer to cut the actual lace off I prefer to use the eyebrow razor instead of the scissors because it provides like a zigzag cut and isn't so straight like with the eyebrow archer you know you're gonna get a reliable zigzag cut as opposed to cutting it with the scissors
Okay, so after we're done cutting that lace off, I'm just gonna go ahead and part her baby hairs out and go ahead and take my elastic band and wrap it around her hair just to further melt that lace in while I do my styling process. I love to use the elastic band and it gets the baby hairs laying in the direction I need them to be going gonna use some of my silk elements and blow dry the hair completely dry and then I will begin to crimp this hair and I'm using my Sebastian's holding spray just to get some hold not a too crunchy hold but the Sebastian shaper provides like a real soft hold okay so I started crimping her hair with her facing the camera but don't worry I'm gonna turn her around and if you just follow the hand motions that I'm doing with the crimp iron right now and the voila I told y'all I had y'all anyways we're gonna crimp this hair to the tee <laughs> And this is how I crimp particularly. I start my crimps at the end of the last crimp. So I just keep it going based off the end of the last crimp. You guys can just follow along with me as I continue to crimp her hair. I'm just parting it out section by section. And before every crimp, I just brush it out and use my Sebastian Shaper to get a good hold. And then I just start crimping. For every crimp, I do start at the end of each crimp. And I do that throughout the hold process. And you just really have to take your time with crimping. Crimping is could take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So just take your time doing this so that your crimps come out perfect. Now we're here at the front. I'm just gonna repeat the same process to both sides. Honestly, this process is repetitive, so we're pretty much doing the same thing throughout the video. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch until we get to the baby hairs. To provide my client with that super flat lay, I just apply my She Is Bombs wax stick on her hair before I actually start hot combing her hair. And as I hot comb, I just blow the hot comb so that it's not super, super hot on her head.
Okay, so now on to one of my favorite parts of baby hairs. Let me tell you guys a funny story about baby hairs. Like when I first started doing hair, baby hairs was like so such a horror story for me so i really love my growth with my baby hairs and that's why it has become one of my favorite processes so i'm just basically using my razor comb to shave and thin those baby hairs out and then i cut them really really short and then i'm going to be using my nairobi foam to actually mold them baby hairs in place but here i'm just shaving them down and you know follow along as we do these baby hairs Really, I just put some foam to the back of my hand and I use my fingers and my edge brush to just shape those baby hairs into the place that I would like it. I put partially some of the baby hairs on her forehead, like slight, slight, but most of the baby hairs I usually mold to the lace. So I just kind of use a little bit of her skin, like a little bit, just a tiny bit, and mainly just use majority of the lace to apply the baby hairs to. So I really be using my fingers to hold those baby hairs where I need them to be. Like, stay right here. Stay right here. You see? You see? You see? That's what you got to do to get them baby hairs to be tamed. To be the, get those baby hairs to listen to you. And for you to be in control of the baby hairs. Back then, the baby hairs used to be in control of me. Now, them baby hairs can't tell me nothing. That's how you have to go into it when doing these baby hairs, guys. Just some motivation. And now that we're done, I'm cutting off the wrap strip. I did put her under the dryer for a few minutes, about 10 to 15 minutes. And now, voila, Hey. So as you can see, them baby hairs was really long on the side of her face. So I'm just gonna cut those down a little bit because realistically, who baby hairs are that long on the side of their face? No one's. So you stayed to the end of this video. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate you all so much. I'm just combing out these baby hairs and pretty much we're wrapping up this look. This was using our Vanity Affair 180% density transparent vein straight wig. Go ahead and check this out at vanityaffairco.com. And you can use the coupon code YouTube to actually save on your product here i'm getting ready to actually use my touch-up spray to black spray that area and i'm just plucking the part and i'm gonna actually get a rat tooth comb and i'm gonna use my touch-up spray i got this touch-up spray from sally's and i love the way it sprays it's not super super harsh it gives it a very airbrush effect and i really love and appreciate that so yeah go ahead and check this out at sally's so you guys can get the exact one that I got. It is called the Zatos Retouch Spray. And that's Z-A-T-O-S. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe this video. And here is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Mwah.